Hey guys, Melissa here. Today we're going to be talking about downloading fonts that you've purchased from fontbundles.net. When you go into the main page on the top right hand corner, you will see an option that says my account. Once you click on my account, a drop down menu will appear and you'll click on your purchases and then the page will come up with everything that you've purchased. These are some items that I purchased yesterday from the dollar sale. And as you can see, I paid 90 cents because I used account credit to purchase them. So what we're going to do is click here to download files. Now that's going to download and then we'll open it up. And of course we have the frequently asked questions and the different types of fonts. I always install the OTF. Um, this is a personal preference, which one you would like to install. But for today's tutorial, I'm going to hit Command and select each OTF. That way I have all three highlighted. Now I'm going to double click and all three will open up. And they're actually here even though one window only open, it's still going to install all three. And we'll hit Install Fonts. Now, my Silhouette program is open, but we do have to quit Silhouette in order for it to install in Silhouette. And then we will just go ahead and reopen our Silhouette program. And you see the name of this font is KL Milk Cookies. That's how it's going to appear in your Silhouette program as well. Okay, so we have Silhouette open up again, and now we are just going to go over here and find our type text toolbox. Click here. Let's just type out. And then we are going to go over here to our box that open when we click the text, and we're going to change the font style. So we'll do KL Milk Cookies. Now, whenever you click this, Make this a little bit bigger. Let's just make this all caps. If you want to align everything in the center, just click center here. You can get the character space closer together or further apart by moving the character spacing button. You can also move them closer together this way or further apart by playing with the line spacing as well. So once you get everything set up the way you want it, you can go up to the top of your screen, let's pull this down just a little bit, and click on your paint bucket tool and fill it with whatever color you like and change the line color as well. So now we have a cute font. This would look great on a mug um, or a t-shirt. Now if this is a little bit too thin for you, you can also go in and offset the font and just change this number. You may need to play around a little bit with the spacing. That didn't do a whole lot. So if you hit Command Z, it'll just go backwards and undo what you have just done. Now we're going to hit offset again and maybe I'll put 0.01 or maybe 0.016 this is pretty big and then you'll just select everything right click well to put it all together now if you want to make it thicker you still want to keep on going with um, making it a little bit thicker playing around with the numbers let's do point oh or we'll do point one that's fine okay so you can see where the offset is on this one the other one was uh, quite fine so you couldn't see it as much so this will make the whole font that much thicker so now once you've done that you're going to go ahead and select all, right click, weld, and now your font is a little bit thicker so you're able to cut it easier. Okay guys, I hope this explained um, downloading fonts and using them. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below.